silver paper. I, I don't know. Um, Reynolds wrap, I think they call it. Aluminum foil. My mom always called it silver paper. And I'll show you the cheese and just everything that I doctored this up on. When you do this, though, like, the silver paper is going to go up along the sides. And then the heat is going to blow it over. So just push it down, okay? Be really careful when you take this out. Okay, so I'm just going to plop it right there on top of there so it doesn't burn my carpet. And this is what it looks like. Oopsies. I don't want to make a poopsies. Now, what is on here? I made my own homemade vegan cheese, which is about ready to go on top. Which is, this is not it. By the way, this is a brand that I don't like. So I just literally dumped it out. And then I made my own vegan cheese. So this is my own. And I'll leave a recipe. I'll leave a recipe below the video on my own homemade vegan cheese. It's Parmesan. It's really good. So what I did was, is I went ahead and made this according to the package. Then I put it in the air fryer, and then on top of that, I added this vegan product, which you can look below the video for the full review. And then I, which is not probably Italian inspired, and then I drizzled the top of this on it. And if you want to see the review on this, look below the video because I also reviewed this on a pizza, and you'll see the whole review, and then you'll also see what this happened. It actually exploded like all over my car. It was interesting. And of course, fresh basil. If you don't have fresh basil, if you use dried basil, uh, you need to start using fresh because it's day and night. It's day and night. And I don't recommend cooking with basil. I'm going to start putting it on here. Let me get my... I don't recommend... This is a tray, by the way. And I'll leave a link below the video for this, too, if you want to eat in your car. It's amazing. Just got to make sure your steering wheel is flat, and which is not... Is, I mean straight okay so i don't recommend cooking with this basil is kind of uh dry i don't recommend cooking with fresh basil because it breaks it down um even when i make a pizza like i throw it on top after it's done and the warmth can kind of what's that word i'm looking for oh i don't know what's that word um wilt it but if you don't have fresh basil and you're like me where you're lazy and you don't want to have a garden, you need to have something called an aero garden. And I'll leave a link below the video to that too. I'll like try to find it really cheap. But an aero garden is how I grow my basil. It's amazing. It literally grows in water with the light. Where is my fork? So we can try this. Oh. And again, you can you might like this product. I might leave a link below the video on this. You may like it. My roommate thought it was okay. I just personally like making my own vegan. I have a lot of things I got to leave below the video. I got to leave a recipe for this. I got to leave a link for the Arrow Garden. I'll remember it. I'll go back. Look at, But look at how that... Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I wish you were here. What this does need is it needs some Italian sausage, though. That's what it really needs. And this is a part two of a video of... Uh, I don't know whoever's watching this if you're watching the whole video or just the part two because the part two is me like mixing it all up i'm trying my best with here youtube i'm trying to like match from now on and i doctor food up i'm starting to doctor myself up hello doesn't that kind of look like a pizza what should i call this whatever i call it in the comments below tell me if you don't like the name that i call this video and if i call it something else i'm thinking about just calling it i don't know Tell me. Mmm. Oh, I wish you were here. This does not taste vegan at all. I just reviewed some um, chorizo. Vegan chorizo. And I know that is more Mexican. This is Italian. But it's called a fusion for a reason, right? I think, I think that would go good on here. Yeah, it would. I have to think about the taste. Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. With this product, though, you could probably eat it raw. I wouldn't recommend it um, because it's kind of like gritty. It definitely works good when it's like browned. Not too browned, but almost like dried out. Um, but not dried out because it's so uh, liquidy. Where is my... And let me tell you something, this vegan Parmesan, I actually added a little something to this today. I actually made this vegan Parmesan today. But I'll leave a little rest of, a little, I'll leave a little, I will leave a recipe little, 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 below the video on how I make it. But you may like that brand, like I said, my roommate likes it, I don't. I had throwing food away, but I was just like, I'm not eating it. He's like, it's all right. I mean, he likes it, but he's like, I don't care if you throw it away because he liked it, but he liked my homemade version better anyway. So, but yeah, I'll leave a link below the video and we can get an arrow garden. Mm, there's nothing like fresh basil. There's nothing like fresh basil. Speaking of fresh basil, I heard it's really good. This is why you need to subscribe to the channel. It's not just about the food reviews, it's about really good information that I have. Where is my Evian water? Like my favorite water that I think is the best is Evian for flavor. What was I saying about fresh basil? Fresh basil and fresh squeezed orange juice together is amazing. You just did this and I'll tell you how I do it. I fresh squeeze orange juice. Then I put a portion of it, like maybe a third or a fourth, in my Viamix. And I'll leave a link below the video for that too. Because they're expensive, but they're worth every penny. And this one kitchen gadget that I had to like move and someone said, you know, you can only bring one kitchen get kitchen gadget with you. I'm in my Viamix. It definitely be my Viamix. And people say it's a blender. I don't think it's even... I mean, I guess it is in a way it's a blender, but it's so it's so powerful and it does so much. You can make hot soups. You can make ice cream. Mmm, oh, it's so good. Mmm. I gotta savor it. So what I was saying is, I fresh squeeze orange juice, because I don't like the store-bought. Put about a third or fourth or whatever in the Vitamix. Then I take fresh basil put it in there and then I just pulse it to where there's still specks but they're not big specks but it's not completely like green and broken down because then it's like it doesn't taste as good then I take that mixture sometimes I put ice in it if it's not cold enough and then I take that mixture and then I add it to the fresh squeezed orange juice that I didn't add to the Vitamix why didn't I add all the orange juice to the Vitamix with the basil? Well, I'll tell you why. Because of oxidation. When you add water, um, when you add air to uh, fresh squeezed orange juice, it starts breaking down and it starts going to the other end or this end, wherever you want to start from. And it doesn't taste fresh anymore because it oxidizes. If you want to be like really... Uh, into that, you could just add water and basil and then add that to the orange juice because that part of the orange juice that you just added the Vitamix is oxidizing already. But then you're gonna have to add some sugar because the water, like, you know, makes it watery, so I don't do that. Um, but yeah, basil, fresh basil, I'll never go back to dried unless I have to, but the other day I actually tried some dry basil because I had taken too much, um, fresh basil off of my arrow garden. I thought it was going to like maybe die or whatever. And I was like, what is this? Cause I'm so used to fresh. It's like, I'm also used to fresh orange juice. Now, if you're on a budget, what you can do, if you're on a budget, is mix fresh squeezed orange juice with the, um, the store-bought carton. And it makes it a little bit, it like brings it up a notch. But 
I wouldn't recommend that unless you're really on a budget, which some people are. I know I am. I'm on a budget, but at the same time, I'm not going to buy carton orange juice anymore. I just don't like it. Mm-mm-mm. Look at that. Red pepper flakes would go good on here, too, if it wasn't already spicy. This is not too spicy, though. You know, it's not. And for a quick meal, it's already made. Not, even, not that pasta takes a long time to cook. If you think about it, it doesn't. A jar of tomato sauce and some pasta and you're, you're done. But, you know, it's nice to have this in the freezer. I guess for that really quick. And please don't microwave that. I didn't microwave it. I don't recommend you do. I'm not against microwaves. I actually like my microwave. And I do a lot of vegan food reviews on frozen meals. But unless it's a frozen meal or whatever for the microwave, I, it's always better when you don't. Mm. I would say go easy on this product because it's very, um, it's almost like butter. And this is what it looks like, by the way, if you don't know. I don't have that much left. Um, I kind of, speaking of microwave, like, I kind of mic'd it to get it more evenly, because it was kind of like, I don't know, it's like, I think I, it thawed off when I brought it home, and it was just, the texture was kind of off. Um, it smells so good, it literally smells like the, I cannot, print. I cannot pronounce anything, can I, uh, Borzen, like, I don't want to say too much, because you need to see the review on that. And you also need to see the review on this. And you also need to check out the review on all my Trader Joe's vegan products. So I'll try to leave a link below the video for that. So I'm going to leave a link below the video for the mozzarella cheese, the borzen for the review. A link on where to get that this cheese. As well as the recipe that I put in there. What else? Oh, I also need a link on how to get it, where, where to get an Arrow Garden. I'm serious. Arrow Gardens are so cool. I think I'm more than basil, but I'm a basil fanatic, so what I do, I have like, I think it's five plants. Yeah, it's five plants of basil and then two plants of Thai basil because I love Thai food and I love Thai basil, but I use more regular sweet Italian style basil more than because they eat more Thai food than Thai food. And you can also basil bomb your smoothies. When you make a smoothie with like greens and fruit. And it tastes like it needs, it needs a little something. Just throw some basil in there and turn it back on. The Vitamix is what I do. And it just, it just kicks it up a notch. You know. Basil's good with strawberries, oranges, pineapples, and you can mix it with greens. Like if you do an orange pineapple smoothie with greens, you can still add more greens and it'll be basil and it's it's really good. Especially if you get tired of the same old, same old. I don't understand why, um, like, I review Daily Harvest and then also Revive Foods. I've, have, I've reviewed them in the past and I will continue to review them. I don't, I don't understand why these companies don't add things like rosemary, which I've never added to a smoothie, by the way, or basil for sure, or cilantro and lime. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I guess it's more of a monk bang. I'm kind of getting full because I know how pasta is. It's good, but it makes me fat. Mmm. That sauce thickens up really well, too. That sauce on this product here is not, like, mind-blowing amazing, but it is better than something out of a jar, and it is from Italy. And I'm about ready to review this vegan bolognese. 
bolognese, bolognese from um, Trader Joe's. I'm getting so full. I was going to do several reviews today, and I don't think I can eat any more. I'm getting so full. I'm getting so full. What else? What else? Oh! What else was I going to say? I was going to tell you something. Oh! Maybe I should leave that on my next video, on my next tip. Because I got another tip when you make smoothies. You got to subscribe to my channel. If you stayed this long, let me know. Uh, okay, so if you subscribe to my channel as an extra bonus, not only will you, like, find out about all these awesome products, um, you also have the ability to request food reviews, products for me to try. And on top of all of that, I'm about ready to have a Patreon, but depending on when you watch this video, I might have already gotten one, because you might watch this video a year after I make this video, so by then, I probably have already had a Patreon. Um... Until next time, please comment, like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon so you'll be alerted when I come out with new content. And don't forget to look at all the links and recipes and all that other good stuff below the video. Look, 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 look in the comment section. All right, bye-bye.